So today guys, I will bring you a complete guide on breeding within Hogwarts Legacy. Absolutely everything you need to know and need to do in order to get this process down. So breeding in Hogwarts Legacy is, well, an amazing feature, if not one that's super, super efficient and one recommended for you to actually gain materials in leveling up that gear. You want to level up that gear, you're going to need materials from these pets, from these beasts to do so. And today I will explain all how you unlock the breeding pens and everything you need to know along the way. But hey, now I have your attention people. If you do enjoy this video, leaving a like really helps me out. And if you like what you see and want to see more Hogwarts Legacy on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so this quest, uh, well, this whole process starts off with a quest for uh, Deke. Now, Deke's questline is a pretty long one, but it all starts with him, the rumor requirements, uh, the vivarium, and everything else. So, you need to progress Deke until you come to a quest called the Elf, the Knapsack, and the Loom. This is where you start and you obtain the Knapsack to go out into the open world and capture those beasts. So, if you haven't got this unlocked yet, progress the main game story questline and it should pop up for you. It's not too long into the game, if I'm honest with you, but just get this done. Now, upon you completing this quest, which requires you to go out into the open world and rescue beasts from uh, poachers, you then come back to your room of requirement and Deke will open up the vivarium for you. And he will then teach you guys to drop your pets or keep your pets in the vivarium, how you get materials from them, and this and the other. So you more or less learn what you need to know along the way. Then guys, there's another quest you need to do for Deke. It's called the Fowl of the dead this is where you learn about breeding and you get the requirements for it now this again can be tied i'm pretty sure it is tied to the main quest line so if you haven't got this popped up for you yet progress the main quest line and it should eventually pop up for you now what i will say is a uh, main quest can be tied behind levels too uh, so yes go out guys get those levels and just progress 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 and eventually guys you'll have a quest line called the Fowl of the Dead. If you've got another quest line for Deke and you haven't got the Fowl yet, keep doing this quest line. Uh, there's probably a couple more in between. I can't really remember. I've been grinding this game so hard, people. But the Fowl of the Dead is the one you want to be uh, doing. In this quest line, it requires you to go out and buy a breeding pen from Hogsmeade, as well as capture Festral, so it can teach you how to breed. So do this and get this out of the way. Now, if you don't know where Festrals are, you'll see them on the map right here. Uh, they can be a little tricky to capture, so a little trick for you. Use a Levioso, put this on a Spell Diamond, the same Spell Diamond you have your Nabsack on. And also, guys, use that Disillusionment to go invisible, because if these spot you, they run and fly away. So go invisible first, use that Levioso to stun them in place, and then simply capture them. I'm pretty sure you will have to get a boy and girl, a male and female too. So yes, do what you got to do for Deke. Upon you returning to Deke, guys, he teaches you about breeding. And that's what I'm going to teach you today. Okay, so yes, the Fowl of the Dead, get this done. And then you can start that breeding process. So hey, you have your breeding pen. This is what you need to do. So you need to, if you haven't done it already, you need to spawn in that breeding pen which is quite easy to do. And to do this, if you forgot, you need to use that conjuring spell. So pop that up and there we go. Now we have beast items. Here guys, we have the breeding pen. It will cost you 15 moonstone to do this. Now, if you just pop this out, you can do this wherever you want, within your, uh, well, wherever there's enough space and pop that out. Now I've already got one, so I ain't gonna make another one. I don't need to, but hey. Then guys, to do this, what you need to do is make sure you have a male and female of the same animal you want to breed within the area, within this said area. So I, as you can see right there, guys, I've got a uh, one hippogriff and I have another hippogriff right there, male and female. Then guys, you want to come up to the breeding pen and simply interact with it. As you can see, guys, I have two sets of animals here I can breed because I have male and female of both. So obviously I've got multiple of the... Um, the hippogriff so I can choose a, a breeding pair but the needs was I haven't so all you do guys is then just simply click on breed and as you can see the kitty is in his well actually he's, he's right there asleep normally I think they normally go inside that barrel but hey there we go 
You can see now the breeding time is 30 minutes. It actually takes 30 minutes in game for you to get that baby, get that kitten. And there you go. It's really that simple as that. You wait 30 minutes in game guys and you will then have a baby. Now I do have a baby special which I'll show you. Um, I think he may be in my swamp area, which is the perfect place for festivals. But I don't think it really makes a difference. Oh, that's not my swamp, that's my beach. I don't think it makes much of a difference, guys, if I'm honest with you. So come around here, we go to my swamp, and you'll see my baby. See if he hasn't grown up yet. Where are you, festival? There, we go. there he is, right there. There you can see him right there. And there we have it, guys. That's basically the lowdown on how you breed. And then, uh, obviously, you use that uh, brush on them, collect that fur, and you are good to go, people. You are good to go. But yes, this is basically the lowdown on how you breed people. It's quite simple. It's quite easy. Now, another thing you may be interested in are beasts to breed with. Now, I've got a video guide on every beast location. They're dens where you catch them, unicorns, uh, hippogriffs, festivals, frogs, kitties, absolutely everything. And I'll put that guide in the video description. So yes, if there's a beast you're looking for, Use that video and you will find it, guys. But yes, that's the lowdown on how you unlock uh, breeding and how you do it. The process is relatively simple, so get it done, guys. And there we have it, guys. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps me out. If you like what you see and want to see more Hogwarts Legacy, be sure to subscribe. And hey, you may as well join my Discord while you're here. My Discord is linked down below. You can come here, speak about uh, Hogwarts, showcase images of your build, your secrets you found, absolutely I think there's a great community there, so head over. But yes, guys, thanks as always for stopping by. And hopefully I will see you on that next one.